<clears throat> okay, uh, Sir MJ, I think we should start. Um, Sir MJ. Greetings, beloved students and parents. Today, August 6, 2020, marks another insightful lecture and discourse, which is the virtual school orientation. To formally commence, let us once again take a moment of silence and devotion for the opening prayer. Lord, thank you for this day, for the presence of everyone in this call, for once again we are gathered and given the opportunity to appreciate life and your words. Forgive us for our shortcomings and cleanse our hearts as we learn and live your words and example. Father, bless our endeavors especially today's meeting. May you guide us in our discussions and may you enlighten our minds in every decision that we make. Give us your grace that we may effectively do our parts for your greater glory. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, good morning, South Brookians. All right. I know that you are very much excited for the following program. With that being said, help me welcome Mr. or rather Miss Cherry Claire Insang, High School Coordinator of South Brook Academy Incorporated, to give us a welcome address. A hand, please. Good morning, parents, students, and to everyone who are able to join this orientation. In behalf of Southbrook Academy Incorporated, I would like to thank all the parents um, for taking time out of your busy schedule just to attend in this high school virtual school orientation. I am happy and very excited to see all of you here. Indeed, as parents, your involvement in your child's education is very crucial to their success. So I believe we are all ready to witness what is virtual school and how to navigate virtual school. So let us all sit back and relax and we will be witnessing it in a bit. Once again, good morning. Thank you, Ms. Cherry, for your exuberant opening remarks. Despite the global crisis, Southbrook Academy Incorporated is once again more than ready in proliferating quality education dedicated solely to South Brookians. Without ado, can we have Ms. Irene Grace Paler, IT Coordinator of Southbrook Academy Incorporated, and Mr. Phil Ian Brooks, Marketing Director of Southbrook Academy Incorporated, to elucidate in simple terminologies the things expected in the virtual school, which imminently entails its system of operation. Applause, please. Hello, everyone. Good morning once again. Good morning. Um, So, 
So if you can see my screen right now, um, we are here at our virtual school or what we, what we call Southbrook Virtual School. So in order to access this virtual school, you need to have this um, link. So later on, I will put this up in the chat box so you can um, access it yourself. But for now, uh, let's have... Um, uh, Sir Phil to um, let us walk through with uh, inside the virtual school. Thank you very much indeed, Irene, and uh, welcome to everyone. It's uh, lovely to see you this morning. So today we're just going to do a <coughs> initial orientation of the Southwood virtual world. So our virtual schooling platform, and we're going to be introducing you to the learning management software learning management software, uh, the LMS, which is, um, which is called, uh, called Moodle. So oh, today, what we're doing is we're going to turn up outside the school and everything about the virtual world is about making the schooling experience engaging for the students and easy for the parents. They're all working towards, so it's engaging for the students and it's easy for the parents. And of course, you know, easy for the students as well. So without further ado, we're going to enter into the school. So we just click on the doors, just as we would um, in Southbrook campus, just walk through the door into the main lobby area. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. And so as you can see, we're now in the main lobby area for the school. And we designed this with the help help of the um, education staff at the school and other people involved in the Southbrook community. And we designed it to look very much like a normal school auditorium. So you can see here that we have a reception, we have an auditor library, gym, recreation room, health clinic. I think that you could uh, wish to see is in the uh, Southbrook um, lobby. So for now, I'm going to pretend that I'm a, um, a parent and I was just at the school and very much like the um, standard campus, I need to ask uh, something of uh, Jacob or Ma'am Ruth or the team there. So I'm going to go to the reception. I'm just going to click in there just before we go to the um, education rooms. I'm just going to go in and ask them about some of the um, uh, school activities. So <clears throat> to start off with, as you can see, we've got the finance and contact school about us, etc, uh, etc. Et so if I click on the finance, so to see, I really want to ask somebody to think about the finance. I click on a, uh, a picture of Ma'am Ruth, and I can see, you know, I'm very familiar with her, and I can just ask her any questions about finance that I have. So I can go up and type in my name, so Phil Brown, Brooksy, it's la da da, and then put my message in there. I mean, say, hi, ma'am, this is Phil here, um, guardian to Janine. Could you tell me, um, do you know what the uh, payment plans are, um, and just give me a statement of balance of account? Or I can just say, hi, how are you doing? Welcome back to school and uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. I think that's on my mind. I can put there into the your name, email, a message, and I can send that directly to Ma'am Ruth. If I want to ring her on the phone, the phone numbers that I want to send her an email, uh, personally, I can send that email as well. So it's a very easy way of just communicating in the same way that I would if I were at the school itself. So let's come out of there. Lovely, thank you. And let's go to the contact school. So I'm literally just going to say, oh, actually, I've got a general inquiry today. I'd like to find out a little bit more about the, um, uh, the academic year. So I click on to the contact school. <clears throat> and once I've clicked on the contact school, we'll see that the school administrator, Angelica Hagner, will come up and there's her phone number there, there's the email there. But again, I can just send a message. Hi, Jekka, um, this is Phil Brooks here. Could you let me know what the timetable is for the, um, uh, could you please 
let me know what date the school starts on, what date the school finishes on, any inquiries that I've got about the gender Angelica and Julia. There, what time do you need to run? Oh, okay, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, great. So, to use that, you can um, and play with this after the demonstration. But lovely, let's come out of. Lovely, thank you very much. Now, if I've got just general, um, I'd like some general information about well, I can click on a today. If you'd like to have a look at that, you're welcome. And it'll just take you through about the Southbrook um, vision statement and mission statement, uh, about the school academic year, all those sorts of things. If you want to just find general information or find out more about Southbrook, you can find it there. So we're going to go back to, oh, that's it. Okay, great. You can see that. There we are. There's all the stuff there for uh, about us. And you can see all of that there. So let's go back to the lobby now, if we may. Thanks so much, that's really great. So we've been into the reception and we can see that we can get uh, our question answered there in the same way that if we just walked into the reception at the Southbrook campus and asked people about the questions, it's just like an electronic way. Of so let's go to the auditorium now. I'm gonna click into the auditorium. There we go. Now, once in the auditorium, you can see much like a school hall. It's a very similar thing. And we can utilize this classroom and we'll be utilizing it. Um, and all sorts of different presentations. Whereby the school presents out to the students or to the parents or to the students and the parents. This is where we're gonna do it. So think about this as, you know, like we, uh, for example, work together do a morning demonstration, flag raising, and then after the ceremony, a bit of a workout, a little bit of a, um, you know, a dance to get the morning. So let's be patient here. There we go. We'll just play this uh, by way of example. Let's just have to do a little morning wake up session together to get ourselves going. But we can play anything. From talk, these sort of things we can click in and if we like. But let's just play this by way of demonstration. Thank you.
wonderful. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed for that. So as you can see, you know, it's just by way of example, there's a presentation there. But every morning we're going to add structure to the uh, synchronous learning by going to the school and then going in and coming to the assembly and starting the day off with a um, presentation at 7.45 in the morning. And we're going to do that before we start classes. So let's go back to the lobby. We'll begin this morning any administration questions that we'd like to ask and then we've gone to the uh, auditorium and we've had inception and now it's time to go to the classes so let's click on to classes wonderful and you can see here that we have the preschool the elementary school and the high school so we know that uh, today we're going to be focusing on the high school and we're going to go there. But the great thing about this is that um, when you're in the um, when you're in the um, South Group virtual, world, you really don't have to worry about going to the obviously school. You can just go to the, straight to the high school. And we're going to go to um, grade ten today. We're going to have a look at the English classes. <coughs> One, you've, as you can say, seven in grade 10. And it goes with us, if you're in grade 10, you'll need to go to the grade 10 classroom. If you're in grade seven, go to the grade seven classroom. If you're in grade eight, go to the grade eight classroom, et cetera, et cetera. But you won't have to bother if you're in grade 10, going to grade seven, eight or nine, or indeed the uh, or the preschool. You'll only need to go to the classroom. Class but today, go to, um, let's go to grade 10 and let's introduce ourselves to the teacher and to the learning. Wonderful, thank you very much. Now, before we click for the lessons, we're just going to get into the routine of having a look at the notice board, especially the notice board. Wonderful. So we can see there by way of example again, we've got don't forget the World Health Day. So that's coming up. That's something we need to come to. But we can post anything here. We can have things about our nutrition month or perhaps about the intramurials or perhaps about the UN Day or any of the other activities that we have coming up. So please always go to the notice board and just see it's where the teachers and the school are going to post different things. That need uh, you know, they need your attention. So. Do have a look at those and then let's have a quick table so we have had a look at the notice board and we're going to look at the timetable and see what we've got on this week <coughs> wonderful and uh, it's really great because these timetables are all different for every classroom so yesterday we were looking we were doing the elementary school and we were looking at the uh, synchronous learn just for the morning for the elementary school but here you can see that we've got um all the classes and this timetable will be um, synchronized to the um, google calendar so parents you'll be able to download this onto your phone you'll be able to know what the students should be doing and when they're going to be doing it so we're going to have a quick look here and we'll pretend that it's tuesday at nine o'clock so okay so we need to be thinking about english today right great okay so it's tuesday nine o'clock english so from the timetable we're going to click out of the timetable now and we're going to look to pick the lesson up in the, the um, in the whiteboard. And again, it's very easy for you to use. There we are. Click here on the lessons. OK, let's have a look. I think it's English today, is it? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over to um, Ma'am Irene and the teaching staff, Ma'am Christine, to talk to you about the English lesson that uh, we've gone through here. So <clears throat> when you go into English again, we normally would ask you to put in your username and password. There we go. 
there it is. So each of the students will have their own username and password, and they'll be able to log in to their lessons, just as we're doing now. So it means that only grade 10 students can go in to the grade 10 lessons. Here we go, fantastic. So I'm gonna hand over to Ma'am Irene to talk to you a little bit about the lesson here, and also a little bit about the LMS and how it works. And obviously the LMS will take a little bit of time to get used to, but I've had a go with it myself and it's, um, you know, it's quite intuitive, very similar to Microsoft Word. So over to you, Ma'am Irene, thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you in a minute. Okay, Phil, uh, thank you so much for that. So we are, we are here now in the English classroom or the English uh, portal, English Stand portal. So as you can see, your teacher prepared uh, some welcome remarks for you for the first day of classes here. Um, also this page, if you're going to click this, you will uh, see all about your teacher. So this is your teacher. And also if we're going to explore more, uh, you have here your classroom rules. So later on in the uh, meet and greet with the teacher, you will explore this all with, the, with your teacher. So we have here Zoom ground rules. And let's go back so we could see uh, everything here. So as you can see, uh, uh, your teacher prepared the first lesson you'll have this school year. So just click on this, introduction of types of languages, then <clears throat> you will have the lesson in a video form. So if you're going to play this one, we can. Grade 10 English, Literatures of the World with Mr. Michael John Cunellet. So the topic that we have for today is all about words or in other words, languages. So words to begin with is defined as a single, distinct, meaningful element of speech or writing used with others or sometimes even alone to form a sentence and typically shown with a space on either side when written or printed. Okay, so let's uh, leave it for the uh, meet and greet with your teacher and also for the first day of your class with uh, Sir MJ. Let's go back here. And you will have um, the rest of your lesson. So you'll have quiz. So since I am using a student account right now, I can't access this one because it is restricted and only available from August 17, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yes. Uh, that's what it says here. So that's only um, made available in that time. So um, we have here another lesson as well made by your teacher. Uh, let's go to the dashboard. So this is a dashboard for a student account. So here you can change your profile picture by just clicking on profile and then you'll explore that later. And also you'll have all the subjects here for grade 10. So as you can see, it's all made available already. So all you'll do is click and then follow instruction provided by your teacher on how the flow of your um, subjects will run. Okay, so let's go back now to the virtual school. And Wonderful, thank you very much for that demonstration. That's really good, um, Ma'am Irene. Let me just ask you something, Ma'am Irene, while we're talking here, you know, uh, as a community with all of the parents, the reason we had the restriction on the lessons is simply because <clears throat> the students, um, is really to um, in the, stop the students from jumping from one lesson to the next and to yes. ensure that they do the lessons sequentially. So the first lesson comes available on 17th of August, so I can't access it before then and I can't just say oh well, let me have a look at see what's at the second lesson I have to wait until I've completed the first lesson and the second lesson becomes available is that correct yes yes uh, that's correct wonderful okay I was just clarifying that just making sure that, uh, that I understand that thank you yeah. very much indeed so let's go back to the classroom now now 
let's not forget that if I've got any problems at all, I've still got the teacher here to help me just as I would have in a normal classroom. So let's say, for example, I didn't quite understand something about the lesson. I just wanted to ask for further clarification. I can click on to the teacher here. Let's just click on the teacher. There we go. And I've got Ma'am Glenelg here and I can say to her, hi, Ma'am, this is Phil here. Um, could you just further clarify the English language lesson or could you send me the relevant teacher uh, details for me to be able to have a phone conversation or a Zoom or in, like, just like we're doing today or a messenger conversation or I can just write an email or whatever I like. So um, I can always contact the teacher if I'm feeling lost or I'm having difficulties. They're always there to help. And I can see again what time they're available. OK, Monday to Friday between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. OK, they're going to come back to me. I can ring them up. I can send a message. I can email them, whatever. So or I can Zoom them or just use Messenger, which is um, often the easiest way. So that's lovely. Thank you very much. Let's come out of there. Now, obviously, today we've been looking a lot at the what we call synchronous learning so there's there's some new terms for us to use here in terms of synchronous basically means timetabled so the structured learning okay but let's say for example after the structured learning i wanted to learn a little bit more today and i just wanted some extra material just to help me with my projects or whatever i can always just click on the media center and find some instant links now you can go and search for your own material or whatever, but we've just put some very simple links up here to the History at Home, National Geographic, YouTube Science, Department of Education, eBooks, e YouTube, all sorts of things that are just very easy and very helpful and actually very, very interesting. So if I'm doing projects in um, uh, geography or history or whatever, I can always go and find all the relevant videos for the specific um, projects and topics without having to go searching for them, especially for parents, if you want to help find asynchronous um, learning in the afternoon. So non-timetabled or non-scheduled learning. So that's lovely, thank you very much indeed. And we're gonna head back to the lobby. I've come out of the classroom now. So um, we've done our timetabled learning or synchronous learning for the morning. And we're just gonna head back to the lobby now lovely thanks very much so we're walking back there in the same way we would on our normal day at school and we find ourselves back at the lobby and so i've come into school this morning 8 40 um 7 45 to 8 p.m i've uh, been to the auditorium i've nipped into reception as a parent asked my questions appertaining to the finances of the school or to the school curriculum or to anything else that I've got. I've now been to school and I've had my um, synchronous learning. I've spoken to the teacher and I'm thinking to myself, I just quite like to do a little bit of a workout. So I want to make that easy. Let's just go to the gym. And let's see what we've got in there today. That's great. So I'm now in the gym and I can see, um, you know, very much like a, a normal um, school hall or school gym. And so I'm just going to play uh, some volleyball. I've got a volleyball downstairs and I'm just going to bounce that up against the um, against the wall. So <clears throat> let's just I need some instruction on that. Let's just go to the uh, notice board and click on the little yellow bird with the volleyball. There we are. Let's play that one. Thanks 
So you can see that um, in the gym, uh, we've got lots of different videos posted up there. You can find your own videos if you like, but if you just want some very simple kind of learning and some simple instruction, whether that be on badminton or workouts or volleyball or whatever that might be, then there's just some easy uh, learning and asynchronous exercises for you to be doing in the afternoon here. So let's go back to the lobby. Now, if there are other things in the gym that you're specifically interested in, reception to say, would it be possible to include this or have a look at this? So again, this is a, a learning platform that we can all develop together, the Southbrook virtual world, where, you know, kind of all of, in, all of this in together with the teachers and with the um, administration staff, and with the um, students and the parents, we can all look to develop this world together. So let's go and have a quick look in the library. It's obviously um, very simple for us. We know what we're looking for. We're just in our asynchronous learning, we'd like some extra um, resources, or I may be having some technical difficulties. So um, we've asked Ma'am Irene to um, occupy this space. And so it's uh, like a resource center. If you're having difficulties or problems or just have some queries pertaining to either the LMS, the software, then feel free to come in and just ask Ma'am Irene about this. And again, same as other places, you have the uh, messaging service, um, the phone number, and also um, email or whatever. So you can just message Irene and she'll come back to you if, uh, with, uh, with an answer to your query. Okay, thanks so much. We'll have a quick look at the resources. We'll just put some sample resources up here. You know, and we'll add to these. We can add to these and put other links in here. Um, I put some ones in that I find uh, particularly great, like the NASA website, it's got a wonderful education um, element to it. You've got the Oxford University Press, National Geographic, um, the uh, Amazon um, uh, books and all that sort of stuff. So you can look here and find your own um, edification or your own fun. Um, you might want to do some research. You might want to um, be looking to find additional materials for your projects. Whatever you, whatever you like, and we can add to this. We can put as we like. So this into a fully functioning library facility. So thank you very much. Let's go back to the lobby now. So we're going to go back to the lobby and we're going to have a look and see what else we've got there. So everywhere you can see back to the lobby signs, just click on those as you're going around and it'll take you back to the uh, entrance hall. So we're going to have a quick look at the health clinic. Um, we've spoken with the uh, guys at Southbrook and they specifically asked uh, for this, uh, for, you know, just to help parents really. Because again, if you're at home and you just want to be really just put in the right direction, you can uh, look at the health resources or ask the school nurse but on the health resources we'll just click on there and have a quick look it's really just to give you a pointer for first aid um, for dental hygiene those sorts of things so let's have a quick click on health resources great fantastic so we put the national health service up there um, and I was finding them amazingly useful. I've got a brilliant website. And if you've got any que queries, questions, or difficulties appertaining to um, personal well being, health, all those sorts of things, you can type that into their search engine and they'll uh, give you really, really great advice or put you in um, the direction of asking great advice. Same with Ask the Doctor or um, Keep Smiling Dental Hygiene. You can type in there and say, Look, you know, I've got this issue, this problem. What should I be doing? How often should I floss? Should I use mouthwash? Whatever you like, you know, you can find there in the dental hygiene. So um, it's again, just a facility there just to help parents with uh, any first aid and, um, and dental inquiries they, they might have. So let's go back to the lobby. Wonderful, absolutely super. Now we can 
working room. And the recreation room is really about asynchronous facility for community. So all the students at Southbrook will be able to go into this room and meet with each other. We'll have a look here. And we're, we're um, seeing uh, Discord, uh, main communication software. So let's go into the recreation room and have a look in there. Lovely. And I'm going to hand over to Ma'am Irene again to talk a little bit about Discord. And also you can see here we've got educational games at the back. So there's, again, all these different websites, really just for fun, fun by learning by fun who um, you know got things all free again you can go up there and, um, and play with that and um, we can add to that new things to it but fundamental Roblox education which is um, been used in America for quite some time it's really really great fun and it gives the opportunity for community just like in the game but it also gives the opportunity for doing some uh, projects and basically just having some fun all together. So we're going to be introducing games there and um, we're going to be introducing um, educational uh, projects through Roblox. But for today, we're just going to have a look at Discord. So let's have a little look at Discord and see what uh, we can do here. And Ma'am Irene, if you want to talk a little bit about Discord, that'd be great. All right, so thank you for that, Phil. So we have here Discord. I know uh, this is familiar for you so uh, let's have a click on this so if you have an account with discord that's fine you don't have to make another one you all you need is to join the southbrook server so i have here an account with this student account of mine so like so here um once you click on discord and if you have account already, uh, this window will pop up. So uh, it's just like inviting you to join to Southbrook server. So join Southbrook server. And then later on, you will direct it to this um, channel. So for right now, I am going to register this account to grade 10 um, channel. So. Let me add that account first and then here. So once added to this, uh, to a particular grade level where, where you belong, uh, you'll just, uh, you can see assignments for grade 10. You can ask your teacher about the assignments. You can um, inquire about the assignment as well and additional information about assignments. And also you can chat with your classmate all about assignments. So here you can just chat in the chat in the grade 10, grade 10 classroom, you can just chat about random things. So you can say hi to your classmates and everything. So it's just a way of communication inside your classroom. So Okay, so you have here chat room. And if you're going to say uh, bad words or anything here, this booth right here will automatically delete that word. Like, so you can send that one to the classroom. And then like, for example, here in the announcement, here you, you won't be able to um, send any messages here, only the teacher. So you can view announcement here, but you cannot um, write announcement here, only the teacher. And also we have here our grade 10, um, voice chat. So you can, uh, you cannot just do a uh, text, you can also voice chat with your classmate and also with your teacher. So let's have that. So make sure you'll have um, account with uh, Discord and also uh, it will require, of course, email. So we'll, you'll need email and also in order for you to sign up for this LMS or the virtual school, you need to provide us your email as well so we can make your account. And also let's go back to the virtual school. 
Um, back to you, Phil. <clears throat> okay, so we are we are here now in a cre recreation classroom, and then also you'll have here additional educational games, which if you're going to click this well, that one, it will redirect you to this um, list of educational games. So you can explore this one later on. Right there. So for now, let's go back to the recreation room. <clears throat> All right. So let's go back to the lobby. Okay. <clears throat> Wonderful. Thanks so much for that, Irene. Let's um, yeah, go back to the lobby, as you say. We can have a little look there. So I think for now, um, we are done uh, exploring every doors of our um, virtual school. So if you wanna, if you wanna explore this yourself, I can provide you this link later on in the chat chat box just check it out and uh, let's go outside of the school wonderful thanks so much Irene and uh, everybody thank you very much for your time today and I uh, hope you've enjoyed our initial look around the virtual school <clears throat> we're looking forward to building this with you over the uh, over the next few months so if you want to um, talk to your friends and bring them and show them around that's absolutely fine ma'am Irene's going to send out the uh, URL for the for the website so you can have a look at that but additionally we're also going to make available our, our virtual tour video and um, various other elements of the school so you can have a look at that at your leisure and uh, play around with it and as I say you will have your own uh, virtual school um, codes you'll have your own email and your own uh, access code for your specific classroom so thank you very much indeed today for your time it's been wonderful to see you and speak with you and i'll no doubt see you again shortly so i'm going to hand back to ma'am irene and uh, ma'am christine and the rest of the team now so jake and everyone to talk to you about any questions or queries that you might have uh, pertaining to the school and so um i look forward to seeing you again and thank you very much indeed thanks so much irene god bless thank cheers thank you so much for being with us phil you're welcome. Very welcome. Anytime. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much indeed. Bye. Bye.